Welcome back to EWC, Empire Watch Club. This vlog, I'm going to tell you my story with AP, how Audemars Piguet totally disappointed me, how I felt disrespected by them, and how I'm at a crossroad right now about if I should keep all of my AP watches or not. And I'm also gonna tell you guys that a watch brand will not define who I am. One watch brand will not have power over me. I am my own man and let's get started. So let's get straight to it. AP disappointed me because I recently got a call from them saying that two of the watches that I previously bought were registered under a different name now, which means I sold them. And yes, I did sell them. However, let's go back in time and let me explain a couple things. I love the brand AP probably more than any other watch brand. And I've been a customer of theirs for many, many years, as well as my family members, my wife, um, and pretty much all of my close friends are their customers and VIPs. When Taiwan AP called me, uh, they let me know that headquarters was really, really upset that I sold the watch. They didn't say I got blacklisted, but you know they kind of hinted that. And this wasn't the first time that I was told I was blacklisted by AP. I know we're in the middle of this story, but I just wanted to stick in a side story that happened about two, three years ago. A friend of mine saw that we started Empire Watch Club and we had our own IG and we had our own vlogs. He wanted to sell his Chrono AP. Obviously, we have a big reach. So he reached out to me and he asked if we could share a story or something or a post on EWC and say that he wanted to sell his watch. And we did, we helped him out. It was a buddy, it was a close friend of mine. It wasn't just a buddy. In about a week, we got his watch sold and we didn't even take a commission. Like EWC is not selling and buying watches. Maybe not now, but hey, maybe later on we could do that. It's something that we can explore. But we did sell it for him and I actually shared the story on my IG. After that, my family and I, we didn't get any APs for over a year and a half. You know, I called a couple of people that were really close with headquarter. It wasn't until recently that I found out that I guess AP saw my story and they thought that I was trying to sell a watch that was still under production. They didn't want to give me a watch, which was really, really weird. Anyway, I found out that all of these AP boutiques, they kind of have to ask headquarter or kind of like an interview process whenever they want to sell a really nice or limited or special Royal Oak to their customer. And I guess I was flagged. They felt like I was trying to flip. I'm not really sure what the real reason was, but I guess that led to me and my family not getting watches for over a year and a half. And going back a couple months ago, AP invited me and my wife, Dizzy, to Tokyo for one of their private events, which supposedly they were going to launch a new limited edition watch. Obviously it's still kept confidential. We don't know which watch it is. They basically told me that I am disinvited. My wife is not invited anymore either. And you know, headquarters is really upset because they just didn't like the fact that I sold these two watches. One was the limited edition, China edition in titanium, Quantum Perpetual. The reason why I wanted to sell the watch wasn't because I didn't like AP. It was because I wanted another AP. I traded it for this yellow gold white dial perpetual calendar. And that's because I started to wear all yellow gold and rose gold watches. Hence my nickname, the Rig Man now. R-Y-G, rose and yellow gold man, you know? So it was just a matter of taste and preferences. I've grown into more of a yellow gold and rose gold person. And a couple months ago, I decided to sell my 15412 BC, the white gold open work double balance with factory gem set bezel. And I actually traded it in for the same exact watch, but in rose gold. To be honest with you, I actually had to put in more money, especially for this piece, a lot more money. I don't even wanna tell you guys because it sounds stupid. I was actually really, really upset and disappointed when they called me for numerous reasons. And first, 
I didn't take profit and I didn't flip the watches. If I wanted to flip it, I would have chose a better time, which was maybe a year ago, a year and a half ago. Not now. The market for APs have gone down significantly and I traded it in for the same brand, the same watches, but just in a different material. And I actually had to spend more money to get these. I'm actually repping the brand still. It's just that these are discontinued. They don't make them anymore. And secondly, I've had those two watches for more than two years. I didn't think that we would have a clause or a contract or anything like that when I bought the watch. No one ever stated to me from AP that I couldn't sell these watches. Before I sold it, I did do some due diligence. I asked some dealers, obviously, and I asked some close friends. I guess the general consensus was, you know, after one and a half, two years, AP shouldn't really care or they shouldn't really be bothered that you would sell the watches because you did have it for a long period of time. And if I hold on to something for over two years and if I wanna sell it to get your brand and you're still upset, there's something wrong here. There's something very, very wrong here. What bothered me was what gives them the right or power to be upset with me? Because I own these watches. They produce those watches to sell. They market it, they advertise it to sell to customers like me. And I choose to spend my hard earned money to buy their products and rep them. I was really, really passionate about AP. I love the Royal Oaks. Starting from the 5402, the original. That really, really bothered me. And I felt disrespected by being disinvited, by being told that headquarter was really upset with me for selling their watches. And it made me think, am I supposed to just keep buying their watches and never sell? Like my tastes and preferences have changed, so I'm going to buy what I want to wear. This is my right. I have the power to do so. I'm spending my money. And if I want to sell something to get something else, I'm the one deciding to do that. Not another person, not another brand, only me. A couple months ago, they did give me a 16202 rose gold. But remember, I didn't get anything from AP for over a year and a half. Originally, I had wanted the 16202 BA in yellow gold. They said, well, we have the rose gold. Would you like that? But it wasn't the 50th anniversary. Anyway, they did give it to me, but I do think that the whole process of getting a watch like this, it's kind of like you're begging people for it. This is a shot fired at AP headquarter and AP the brand in general. You know, I was super happy a couple months ago when AP Taiwan told me that I was invited to such a big private event by AP headquarter in Tokyo. They would fly us out and everything, but they're just like, yeah, it's kind of like a event and we're gonna publicize some things and you know, we're gonna showcase a new watch. And let's not forget, Dizzy and I were invited, but we were also celebrities. So we get paid to do these type of gigs. They told us that headquarters and, and AP Taiwan didn't have a budget. They would only be able to fly us out and give us a hotel room. However, we have management companies, we have teams. Um, and when we show up to certain events, we have a standard SOP. We agreed to go under our own circumstances and we actually were ready to pay extra costs and bring our own team, glam, stylist, or whatever that was needed to show up to an event. Now, if any of you influencers or celebrities or artists out there, you know what we're talking about because this is not supposed to happen. But I convinced my wife because I loved AP so much. With this whole Japan trip, I was like really looking forward to it. I finally felt like included. I was in the AP inner circle. I felt special. I felt like finally they're giving me credit. Finally, they're acknowledging me. They know who I am now. And to be honest with you, now I just feel like it's kind of like a cult following. You know, more power to all these super VIPs. I'm not knocking them because they, like me, they love the brand. You know, they, they are that inner circle. They are the core customers of AP and they're heavily, heavily invested. And I respect that, I do. You know, I even seeked out all these dope, rare neo vintage vintage watches and you know something that represents them so well is an open work perpetual calendar royal oak this is a beauty i would seek out watches like this you know try to get affirmation try to gain acceptance from these people 
now I'm just like, why? Why? Like, I don't need it. I just wanted to share all of this because I felt like heartbroken. I just felt like this cringe inside. For a couple days, I was losing sleep. And it sounds funny to say that you're losing sleep over something that you're spending money on. And then I woke up and I was like, I don't really give a shit anymore. A watch, a brand should not have any power over me. If any of you watching right now have similar experiences, reach out, let me know. You know, like I, I want to connect. I'm not the only one out there and I want you guys to know that you're not the only one out there. The thing for me now is, do I really want to hold on to these watches? Do I want to keep my APs or should I sell them? I understand this will have consequences. AP will never let me buy a watch again, but it's all good. This is the end of something, but it could be the beginning of something awesome. You know, I got a smile on my face and that's what watch collecting should be about. It should be about passion. It should make you happy and you should love what you buy and no one should be able to tell you what you can and can't do with your own property and your own assets. And last but not least, I do want to say, I don't like the Marvel collection. I think the Black Panther was hideous. I have no idea what they're doing with that. And Spider-Man just came out, really, really? And you know what? It feels great to say, like, I don't like these watches, you know? And I was scared to say it before, fuck. Why was I scared to say something? Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. Keep supporting EWC. Hit a like, comment, share with all your friends. If you guys were me, what would you do? Would you keep all your APs or would you sell them? Let me know in the comments. Signing off. Peace.